Hello there YouTube, this is Elite Master and today I'm bringing you a video review of the Legend BB Musha Victory 2. The Victory 2. And here it is, cute little guy, as most SDs are, just neat little shorty. <laughs> now then, uh, on his main body, he is molded in white, red, and blue. And he does have quite a few stickers. and. Stickers are one of the big downsides of this guy. He's got the eye stickers, and you do still have the gimmick where you can pull the face off, the scalp off, and you can switch it around. I have not used any of the other stickers, but he does come with four others. Let's put that back on. And he's got these silver stickers that have a gold line around them on the shoulders. These horrible, like, gunmetal stickers on these flaps. They're just terrible. No matter how I tried to apply them, they just would not go on right. These ones on the chest, which these ones aren't too bad, but as you can see, they're starting to like scrape all the paint off of the sticker. <laughs> and they have like a gold lining on the inside. This gray one, which isn't too bad, but I applied it sloppily. Doesn't matter, I'm going to take them off and paint them like anyway. And this, these white stickers on the sides. Them, it's got the typical molded detailing of a standard Gundam uh, SD anyway, where it's got like the uh, angled in part right here. It's supposed to be the sides of the of the like torso, and it does not conform in there very well at all, if any. And it's just bad. The stickers on this guy aren't aren't great. They're kind of bad. But, enough about the stickers. Let's get him armored up in his standard form. I'm going to go from the waist up. I'm going to put this front skirt on. I'm going to put these arm guards on, which also have a terrible sticker. It's gold and red. And I might just be really bad at stickers, but come on. If it had been a, two separate stickers, a gold and a red sticker, might have been bad. Might have been okay. But, nope. Put those on. I'm gonna take the one, this one cool chrome piece that looks like a bird's face, and put it right there. And then we take these blue pieces and they peg into the top of the shoulder, right there. And give them more of the victory-looking shoulders. And then we pop the helmet on, which has this really nice gold chrome piece on it and a clear pink sparkly effect not, not effect but a clear sparkly pink part Go, uh, green sticker and red stickers on the sides and then we bring in the wings the backpack that have gold stickers on here it's one big one and then one small one right there at the front and there is the Musha Victory 2 in its standard armored up form and that's pretty neat looking. You know, I like him. He does come with a weapon. He's got this really long sword, which is really long for an SD. Because, like, here is the uh, Zero Sword. The SD Zero Gundam. And look at that. Look how much longer that is. And, like, not just that, but here is the uh, Katana from the... Uh, option set and it's about the same size and this is for a 1144 scale kit but yeah it's just two pieces of plastic for the scabbard and the gold piece on it and then the entire blade is this clear uh, sparkly pink plastic which little rubbery feels a little more stiff than like standard um, beam effect pieces and it's supposed to be painted a lot, like the handle, like all this needs to have been, needs to be painted because they don't give you stickers for it. But he can hold that just fine, and it pegs into either side of the side skirt, because they each have a hole. And then he, there you go, he's ready for combat. And speaking of the clear pink parts, you do get these, which is the effect parts for the Wings of Light. And they can spread out like so. Just realized I haven't talked about his articulation, but it's pretty much the same in both forms, so let's talk about it now. His head's on a ball joint, and we forward and back. 
up and down, side to side, rotates 360 without the helmet. His arms can move out on the polycap joint, rotate around and wiggle because of the ball joint. Arms are on ball joints that can move out that far, like that far, rotate around. He's got the elbow joint, ball joint wrist, ball joint at the torso, ball joint hips, and ball joint feet. It's standard fare for SD articulation nowadays. And the backpack is on ball joints that have a cut in them so they can flare out a little bit longer, like that. And that is cool. If this was all that this guy was at, like if this is all that he could do, I'd be alright. I'd be satisfied. I'd be like, you know what, he did his job. But no. Bandai decided they wanted to go the extra mile. And then they gave us this. Which, from the initial pictures I saw of this thing, I couldn't tell what it was, what it was supposed to be. It's a bird. A little bird head, bird feet, like a bird tail, and bird wings. I thought it was just like this huge weapon placement, but no, it's a birdie. Hmm. And as you can see, it's like this. And it's got all the parts for his, um, uh, what's it called? Figure 2. And that part can go down there too, I'm just showing that off. The V2 Assault Buster set or something like that. <clears throat> but you want to pull it apart like this. Pull this off. This is going to the side and will never be seen again. We flip the head in. And now it's the shield. We got new shoulder armor. We got new skirt armor. We got the cannons. Let's take this one off. And now it's ready to be put onto the Victory Gundam. <clears throat> now then, to start them off, let's take off the shoulder armor. And the front skirt. Those also will go off to be never, never be seen again. Now then, from the skirt up, put the new front skirt on, which has these two red stickers on it, flame detailing. And I do like the uh, gold plastic on this, but I will obviously be painting it. Because, like, plastic's nice on its own, but yeah, it's a little more yellow than I want it to be. And those go on the same way that the other ones did. He gets his chest piece. Oh, excuse me. Goes on here around the bird. I'm glad you don't have to take that off. And then you take these pieces, and they have ball joints on the inside here. They peg into these pegs on the side of the wings. So that you can get that. And both guns, this cannon here, and this one can be held in the hand. He's got a handle right there. Let's put the sword away. And you can mount them both on the shoulders. But then you take the cannon and you swing it forward. And you take the other cannon, you can hold it. Like I said, you can hold both, but uh, I prefer to have him have one on the shoulder and holding the other. And then he holds the shield. And these wings are on ball joints, so you can pull out a bit, and they can position around a bit. They've also got a secondary peg right here that you can pull out the ball joint and put up like that. I prefer having it like this. And there's a lot of modulation you can do with this backpack set here, because they've got pegs right there. And there's pegs all over it that you can just like stick onto different parts in the shield here. There's a lot of pegs and holes that aren't actually being used, so you can probably come up with some cool, like, custom display options. But, outside of that, that is pretty much the fully armored Musha Victory 2 Buster mode, I guess is what it's called. Uh, it's got a bird on it now. A gold bird, which is really sick looking, actually. It takes up a lot of room, like, going backwards, but he looks cool. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I do think that you need to do a lot of painting on uh, this mode anyway to get the point across. And he is very back heavy now. But like, here. Look at this picture of the finished product. It's got like uh, some gray detailings on the ends of the 
on the ends right here. There's a lot of paint that you actually need to do to this guy to get him to look right. And like just even right here, none of this gray on the feet and ankles is actually there. You have to paint that up. There's no gold right there on the chest. And like right here, that whole gold piece right there on the collar isn't painted in. You have to paint that and that white. And everybody knows how hard it is to paint white onto darker colors. And the white needs to go all the way around the body when it only goes around the front. Because this guy has terrible stickers. But it looks good. And also you can put the wings of light on the tips of the bird mode. Which I didn't do because it's kind of boring. I don't know why you do it. The bird mode in and of itself is just kind of like a, oh, well, here's all the armor part, just do something with it. But this is the Musha Victory 2 Buster mode thing. And just for comparisons, here he is next to the Dai Shogun. Oh no, they're both super back heavy. No. And here it is next to what is still... Uh, my current favorite Le uh, BB Senshi kit, Legend BB kit, the Musha Godmaru. And they all look real nice together, actually. <laughs> like, I like this, uh, I like these super ornament ornamental looking designs, and uh, tons of chrome everywhere. It just looks really nice. I do need to get around to painting all of these kits, too. Uh, this one not so much, he looks real good out of the box, but, like, this guy, definitely, I need to paint. But, if you like to paint, he's perfect for you. If you don't like to paint, he looks okay when he has all the armor on. It's just, you have to deal with those really bad stickers. But, aside of that, this guy's pretty solid. Real nice looking SD. Uh, definitely not my favorite so far, but he's, uh... He's on the list of some of my most enjoyable SDs. <laughs> so that was it for the League Master, and uh, I'll let you all get back to your lives, and have a nice day. I'll see you at the next video.